is going on? Welcome back to 7 Days to Die with Mark Allen. Hey, I was on my way to a uh, POI. You can see the up there at the top, the exclamation mark. It's that, I don't know what it is. It's a bad place. <laughs> but I saw this and I'm not sure I've been in there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on in. So let's go in. See what's waiting for us in here. Ruffle the cans. Have I been in here? Let's see. No. Yeah, I see a guy over there. And I hear a guy here. Man, he is mean. Not so mean now, are you? All right, let's check the loot real quick. Ah, let's get rid of this other guy. He's coming for us regardless, so. Yeah, take this swing. Eat that. And that. <laughs> Alright, we're good for good for a minute. Uh we're gonna go ahead and wrench this. That's gonna take a while, huh? Even with a good wrenching skill and a good wrench. Alright. Take their steel. Uh Wing that bat. Check all the loots. All right. Check that already. Check all the lockers. Ooh. All right. I want to just scrap out some of this. And... Ooh, brown dye. <laughs> Military boots. With a mod, those will sell for a fortune. Let's see if that's open. You can come in this way. Hey. Several ways in here. All right, I guess I'm going to take some of this. I like the cement. That's fine, too. Should do this after the recording, but hey, I'm here. Can't reach that one. Okay. No. I need to start using my quick buttons. Like that. All right, let's check the loot in this room. Uh, wrench that, I guess. Check that. Woke somebody up. Are they upstairs? I don't know where they're at. Let's run through here. Wake everybody up. Wake them all up. I hit the floor. Show me your head. Fighting my ankles. Usually where there's one construction worker, there's a ton of them. So this place isn't that big though. Small place. Is that going to fall? No. Wake up. Dang, that was a tough wake up. <laughs> uh, we're going to wrench all these. Safe. I don't know that I brought anything for that, though. That zombie sounds like it is outside. You are most annoying, ma'am. One hit wonder? Nope. Anybody else? <laughs> Dang, I hate that. Sitting outside just bashing everything. 
being noisy. All right, I guess we got to get out the uh, old noisy thing here again. Hello. Secret loot. Can I jump? Ah, I can do it like this. Oh, dang it. I guess I gotta take the rocks now. That's noisy enough. Way up there. Let's just check in here, too. We've already been in here, but... Locked. Boots galore. And this, did I bring any uh, pick lock picks? No. Plow through this. Nice. Uh, wrench this. Can't go up there. Gotta go back up the stairs. What am I missing? Secret stuff. It's fine. Good to go. Up we go. Up, up, and away. Hey, I want to do some more. I've upgraded a lot on my base. I hear people. I hear things. Yeah, there's people out there. Oh, got me. Dang it. Dang it. Uh oh. You better get rid of this guy first. I guess I'm just going to bleed out. We should have some bandages here. Where are they? Oh, on my hot bar. Woke up the hole outside. Alright, so let's get, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Anybody else out here? Gotta be, right? Doesn't gotta be. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna toss those feathers out. That, that's all fine. It's all fine. See what's in here. Loot. Loot and loot. Alright, so. Wrong buttons. Might as well tear this place up. That's it for that. Alright, so which button is that? Number five? Okay. And that one. Anything under there? We're good to go. Out of gas. All right. Take all their wood. We're heading around. I don't know if I missed anything down there or not. Should be fine. Uh-oh. Looks like it's going to fall. Going in here first. Is that where I've been? I've been there. <laughs> Going up. Going up higher. I see you. Going up here. No. I can make that jump, right? Yes. Nice. Weird that was blurry until I hit it. Untouched. 
Not bad. Some mods too, though. That's it. That's it up here. What do we miss? Probably nothing. What's over there? Yeah, we got all that. Jump. <laughs> I have enough coins. I can jump off about anything. I think it was five, over 5,000 coins. That was that locked door. We don't need to worry about that. There's something right there. Okay. What exactly was that? Rifle parts. Okay. Uh, we want this one. Check all the trash. Get some glue, some cans. Been saving the cans for oil now, I guess. Got six more. Just cans and oil shale, I think. I think that's right. Okay, I'm going to head back to the base. I've At the trader, I found solar bank, and then I thought, hey, cool, I'll get solar. But no, you had to find solar, uh, I don't know what they are little uh, panels or something to put in the bank. And just one of those cost me uh, almost a stack of coins. I think I put on, or put up my Magnum and saved some money. It was 17888 or something. And then I got it for 16,000 coins. And that's just one. And it was a level three. And the level six, um, I forget what they are. Let's look here. Solar bank. Solar cell. Level 3 solar cells put out 22 watts, I find out. Level 6 would put out 30. So, and it holds 6 cells. And so, basically, you can get up to 180 watts. Is that right? Something like that. Out of those things. And maybe... I don't know. I need a lot more to use it for anything. And it's only good during the day. You'll have to charge batteries or something with it. So, it's it's... It's not worth the money, is what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, let's head back to the house. and sh I'm going to work on my uh, horde base. And I've added a lot of stuff, and I want to change out a couple of things. So I'll see you back there in a minute. Okay, we're almost back. And I just wanted to go around, well, around back here and show where I've been mining. It's not the only place, but put up a little walled-off area here. And let's look down in here. So really, it's the worst mine in in the world. <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff in it, though. As you can see, there's a iron there, coal there, and this was right on top of a coal deposit. And it's got some other stuff in it. By the worst, I mean, look at this mess. Go down here. Almost fall through a hole. Got some support here. Back through here is some uh, iron... And some of that is nitrate, I think. And then we got coal, and I found some nitrate back here, too. Yeah. Coal. Got a shadow coming down here. But <laughs> this is my this is my really handy-dandy mine. Mostly using it for gunpowder and iron, so... Let's ride over to the, uh, oh. Let's see if I can squeeze through here. Ooh. Okay, I've done some upgrading here. I've got access doors here. I've got uh, maintenance walkways here and on the other side. I've put steel on most of that. I need to put steel on these little deals here, too. Because I think they're just going to jump up and be able to hit that particular block so but these are maintenance for the blade traps and I put electric fences now if I can walk just walk slower 
So they get shocked here. I can shoot them. If they stay on track, they'll just get shocked again right here. And this blade trap is for the demolishers. Hit them in the head, I hope. I can't tell. It looks less than three, but I think that's taking up the whole block. So it should hit them in the head. And then if they stay on track again, there's a demolisher. And then they get electrocuted here. And so up here, I'm going to put another one across this last row here and either put another one of these or i'm going to put a turret pointing and shooting things in the back so that'd be a bullet waster though and i, I may put a switch over there so if i see a demolisher i could turn it on but either that or it's just gonna be three blade traps and then they make it through all that and they fall down they get chopped up either way they go and those probably won't last long but it's fine so let's run over here, and I'm going to change these up too. I think I'm going to turn those into, uh, oh, what do you call it? Those things I have in my doorway over there. Arrow slits. I upgraded these even, but tearing them out. That way they won't see this as a viable path at all. Can't reach that, can I? All right. Those will be in the way, so. I'll tear out these two. Not from there, I won't. Well, I could tear out these. Duh. And it'll fall. Nice. Alright. I might have lost some iron there, but it's fine. And I need to put up some little... Uh, something here to catch me when I run up. So, those are going to be arrow slits turned on their turn like those over there it doesn't matter close this up so there's two pathways here i'm thinking that mostly these electric fence posts will be the ones that need maintenance maintenance but i needed one over there for the blade traps so you can get to that one you can get to that one you can get to all these and then same with that side and then for the upper ones, I've got opposing turrets here for the birds. They won't shoot anybody here. But up here, I can just maintenance these from here and here. And then if I put another one right here. And I did upgrade this to steel because those got exploded last time. So we'll see. Doesn't really matter. These, I've actually added some more bars underneath so the birds can't swoop in there and get me in here's the solar bank and i've got this that solar cell that cost me seven or i don't know sixteen thousand something after the discount but they were listed at 17888 and stack of coins basically so i may add that turret that might might work out good just put a switch over somewhere over here to turn it on Otherwise, it's just going to be three blade traps, three blade traps, plus the four. But the problem is I'm running out of power. Let's see, when I turn everything on, okay, I've still got enough power here. I've got 57 watts left. But this only puts out 273. I need some better batteries to get it up to the 300. Beautiful sound. And then I wired the lights separately. I kind of want to hook that to the solar panel, but without batteries, they won't work at night, so that'd be dumb. So I need another battery bank or somehow move that to the solar panel. That's going to take some experimentation for me to figure out. So, And turn that off. I leave this running and it doesn't use much it's just noisy 
when the power's off, it doesn't use much. It charges the batteries, which, which are charged up right now, so. So I'm just kind of hoping that the electric fences hold them, but they're going to be that doing that herky-jerky thing, so. I don't know, and I may get my M60 over here. I've been making lots of armor piercing. I bought some of these, and I made a whole batch of those. It takes a lot of gunpowder, twice the gunpowder. Anyway, I, obviously, I need to unload and uh, keep the money flowing in, though, so that I can buy more solar cells and more ammo and... I'm real close, real close to having enough, but you can never have enough, I, I suppose. All right, let me, uh, let me unload. I'll be back. Okay, it's getting dark. I've cleaned up my inventory, sort of. Let's see. I want to steal a battery out of here. I noticed there was a level five battery in there. We'll put one of these twos in there. Put those up. I guess I left that running. I hooked up the uh, everything to the battery and then to the solar panel. Pull this battery out. Pull that battery in. Now it's 281. And let me turn that off. Turn that on. Power this on. So that's only taking 243, and for another trap, I need at least 20 watts. I don't know what these things take. Auto turrets. 15, okay. So I need 15 or 20 watts. Technically, I have it, but when I turn these on, let's find out. I don't have 20 watts. I do have 15, though. Just enough for an auto turret. So that, that one battery almost got me there. Um, 264, that'd be 284. I need three more watts, basically. So I'll just get another battery, and I can put either either or turret or blade trap down to very far end. So. Um, during the day, this lights up because that solar panel's on. And then when this is sh when that's turned off, this charges back up. Right now, it's maybe going to slowly go down because that might be using one watt. Yeah, it's using one watt of power. And if you highlight a battery, you can see the cell price will go up, and that tells you whether it's going up or down. Because when it's on, let's do that. Highlight that battery, you can see it's going down, 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 down. That should possibly run all night, though, with all those batteries. I don't think that it's going to charge in one day, but I would basically have seven days to charge it, so. Do that. Leave that on so that when this, uh, let's see, turn it on. Yeah. Leave that one on so that when the solar panel kicks on, it's charging the battery. And this we won't even need in that case, so. When you hook everything up, it gets confused, so I, that's how I did it, and that's how I'm going to do it. So um, I put in this M60. It's full of uh, armor piercing, and then this is at that loot spot we just did. I got this with mods up to 116 range, dam range damage, which this is 84. This one is a really good AK. It's up to 92 with mods, so... Um, yeah, so that's a good marksman. It's got armor pier piercing also in it, so. I think I need to change the mods. I need to make it more stable. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna need this. That, this may allow me to, whoa, guns backwards again. That should be good enough. Because I don't think they can reach these, but when that dries, I'll probably go ahead and Steal it up just so it looks cool. Because looks is a thing. 
But yeah, I can go out here, check these. These are all, these need nothing. And I can fall off. So I need to get some railings up along here. And maybe some here and right there. So if I run up from this backside. And then put some in the middle here. Because I always seem to run up right in the middle. So like if I'm running up, it's going to catch me right here. And I won't fall off this other side. So I'm going to do that. And let's see the last... One was on day 150, so we got till 157. I, I, I will probably be back, but may not be back. Just do some grinding until next horde night so we can test this out. Get up whatever trap I'm going to put up or auto turret. And we'll, we'll give this a shot. So I'll see you in that video. Probably horde night. If not, there'll be a short one before. And I better get something to drink. So cheers to you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's been Mark Allen.